Hello, welcome to the Backwoodsman's Institute. My name is Scott Fromey. Well, here at the Backwoodsman's Institute, you know, it's more than just hunting and fishing and, and being out in the woods. It's all about country living, and part of country living is having a garden. Now, <clears throat> what I'd like to share with you guys this evening is I did a little bit of experimentation with my sweet corn patch. I didn't plant it in a typical, you know, rows where you can cultivate cultivate in between the rows. Here's what I did. I tilled up about, I'd say it's about a four or five foot swath in my garden and broadcasted the sweet corn seed right out on the ground. And I tried to spread it out about three or four inches apart and then I went through the hole and just hold it in. It didn't take hardly any time at all. I just let it go. I didn't have to worry about weeding because it's so thick in there that you know it shaded out a lot of the weed so I didn't have to worry about weeding it probably took up here in this four or five foot swath of my garden I'd say it's probably about 50 60 feet long and four or five feet wide it would probably take up quite a bit of garden space if I did row by row by row like I said I was experimenting with it this year just to see what happens and tell you what it's working out pretty good. I think I'm gonna, I'm on to something as far as corn. What I was trying to think of this spring is, I wonder how in the world the Indians, did they actually do rows, or did they, did they just seed it in, and and do their corn like that? And I thought, you know, the way the corn grows, you know, corn's got, you, you see volunteer corn, it comes up in clusters anyways, in the in the corn fields, but they're the combines and stuff hit it. So I thought. I'll just go ahead and give it a shot and see what really happens. I'm kind of pleased with the way it turned out. In fact, I'm just now starting to get some of the corn. And uh, obviously, you know, the out, outer edge of, of it is starting to ripe up faster than, than the inside rows. But I tell you what, I've noticed that the deer and, and the raccoons are already starting to get into the sweet corn patch. So it's a, it's a race between me and the and the wildlife as far as getting corn. But like I said, it was just an experiment. I'm pleased the way it worked out. You know, maybe give it a shot next time you think about putting out a sweet corn patch. Catch you out in the woods.